All right, so I thought I would uh, take all you guys on this journey here. So as you can see, um, this is the spinner of the plane here, and it's aluminum, not painted. I don't think it's ever been painted, but uh, it's just got that weird oxidation thing going on. This isn't dirt. In one, yeah, it looks like dirt, right? But it's not. Um, it's just generally nasty. However, it's not terrible. It hasn't gotten to the point where, you know, I'm just going to give up all hope on this. So, what I'm going to try is white diamond. White diamond metal polish. Uh, apparently, this is supposed to be really good. It's covered all the metals here. Aluminum, brass, chrome, you get the idea. Let's see here. Read on the back. Uh, it looks pretty simple from what I've seen here. You just shake the bottle like crazy for a while. Uh, wipe a small amount on surface vigorously with a clean dry cloth until polish turns dark. Let's stand for one minute. Buff off with clean dry towel for a brilliant shine finish. Buff with a microfiber cloth. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try this just as the directions state. I'm going to tackle, you know, maybe the left side or the right side. I don't quite know. And then I've got the... Uh, proverbial big guns here not not so much this is just uh this uh quad ot zero 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 grade um really fine steel wool so uh maybe you know for that stubborn spot or you know a few others or maybe the whole thing who knows we'll, let's get crazy um i'll use this stuff it's really super fine so i think with a combination of this stuff and this stuff um, you know, it'll go on all right. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. If it doesn't, I'll just try something else. Uh, the way that I pick this stuff out isn't just by random. I've been through a few of the pages or whatnot and people with the same issue and, you know, a few people have had some pretty good, um, you know, luck with this stuff. And on Amazon, the reviews are pretty good and people have actually, uh, submitted pictures for this stuff. So... What I'm going to do is shake it up like crazy. I'm going to apply it just, just on its lonely to one side. Um, show you what that looks like. And then, uh, you know, if we need to break up the steel wool, we will. All right. So if you don't already have a metric ton of microfiber, get the microfiber. Got my gloves going. These are nice seven mil deals. Not going to pop through and get all nasty, you know, because my hands. And uh, i got this cloth that I'm going to use, just a regular cotton cloth, as my applicator. So uh, open this thing up and just the smallest little hole in there. So whatever that media in there, the actual polishing media, must be super small. Alright, so I'm just going to lay it on there so I can do the camera work here. And I'm going to put a little bit. Oh, gosh. Man, this is interesting with the... How about this? I'll just put a little tiny bit. That way it won't get too crazy. All right, we'll just do a little, little one right there. Let's see what just circles on here. Now, I have heard that this takes like forever once you start <laughs> i think one uh, reviewer said once your hands start hurting then you got another hour or so to go so i don't expect some miracles to happen with this one spot i just want to see if there's any type of difference when i apply this whatever white diamond so just not going crazy with the pressure i can only go so crazy holding the phone and wiping hopefully this isn't making anybody too sick and then I'm just going to you know, wipe it off and see if there's anything that is... Oh my goodness. See that? Holy smokes. All right. This is my first time with white diamond. So I didn't know what to expect. Let me put this down here so I don't trip over it. Pull out the microfiber cloth here. Oh my. Okay. All right. Well, um, I did that for like a second. Look at that. That was that stuff I could not get off. You could literally see the circle. Okay. I, I, I don't think I need the steel wool on this stuff. That's absolutely crazy. Okay, so 
let me just do the whole top part here. Uh, I'm not too worried about the screws actually, probably brighten them up a little bit. Um, I thought about taking this off and yeah, do it right on there. I just, you know, make sure I don't nick up against the side. I think we'll be all right. Um, yeah, oh my goodness. Oh my. Okay, let me do the top and then uh, I'll show you, I'll show you kind of where we're at. Look at that though. Isn't that crazy? So no okay. joke. This is after 15 minutes. Let's see this. Literally, 15 minutes. And you're thinking, oh, well, you know, hey, that looks good, right? Okay. Check this out. Literally. Boom. All of this. 15 minutes that smudge. Let me get that. Let me get that for you. Smudge gone. Smudge gone. Okay, no joke. Literally, 15 minutes. Now, instructions say use a um, cloth and then wipe off with the microfiber. You're going to need a ton of these, by the way. Uh, it picks up a lot of material and uh, turns black. It's, it's also weird, get this, the solution smells like vanilla. Uh, I thought I read that wrong in the reviews, and it's legit. So it doesn't smell chemically at all, it's like a vanilla ice cream or something. It's the wildest thing. So I started with this, you know, something similar, and then I wiped it off with that. Uh, what you want to do is, you know, get this pre-saturated and wipe 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 in circles like I was showing you there and um, once it gets pretty heavily you know in, in like a black tone uh, then take one of these microfiber deals and wipe it off now you'll probably get a little worried or upset or bothered because when you wipe off uh, you do your first wipe it will be kind of hazy don't worry do another wipe, get a clean section of the towel and do another wipe and really, you know, get in there. I think it's probably the polishing aspect of it. You know, how you polish a car, it kind of dries a little bit, haze, and then you wipe it off. I think the same thing's going on there. Now, I did use, uh, after the first, I don't know, like 10 minutes or so, um, the Quad Odd 000 um, steel wool thing. Um, really, I didn't see much of a difference as in how long it actually took to remove, you know, nasty parts of it. But I did notice that, uh, oddly enough, the steel wool acts kind of like a sponge. So I didn't have to, you know, reapply as much. So it definitely didn't hurt things. Um, it didn't help as much as I thought, but it did act like a sponge so it could hold more of that stuff. So instead of doing, you know, the, the quarter side here and then the other quarter here and then, you know, so on and so forth, um, I could do the whole top and, you know, I could go nice and in the circles, do the entire half and then wipe it off and then, you know, use a towel. So, you know, these pads are a few bucks. Get a bajillion of these. They don't cost hardly any money at all. Um, and I wouldn't even worry about, you know, using these guys. I would just use the Brillo pads. Make sure they're the, the right ones. You don't want to use a harsh Brillo pad. That'd be horrible. Um, but yeah, just harsh Brillo pad and these guys right here. I think I'm just gonna, I don't know. And I, I thought about taking the, um, you know, taking the cone off. But honestly, that polish polishes the, uh, the uh, screws as well. So, I mean, it's a nice uniform look um, <laughs> once you do it you might notice like a dent or two in there which is like yeah it looks really good but you know the dents were kind of covered up by the uh, oxidation but yeah whatever uh, it's going to be so bright and shiny when you get out there I mean look at that reflection look at that reflection it's crazy stuff um, that nobody would care so I'm going to put uh, you know that stuff in the bottom I'm <laughs> I'm surprised that the first thing I tried on here actually worked other than soap. It was the weirdest thing. But uh, yeah, I'll put the uh, whatever that stuff is called down below. Uh, I wasn't sent it or anything. It's cheap enough, goodness. 
I've got enough for, I mean, look how much I used. Hardly nothing. You can see it on the side. I could probably do this like seven times over and still have extra for who knows what. But, um, yeah, I am, I am surprised. I took, you know, I bet, told the wife that I was going to be, you know, a few hours and literally I was done with this uh, in 15 minutes. Now, granted, it does, it's not 100%. You know, once you get down in there, you start noticing the little bits. So, yeah, I might pick up on that. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. You know, we'll see what happens. But, goodness, it took off that nasty stuff as you saw in the beginning, and that's really what I cared about. It looked like a piece of plastic or something. So, uh, yeah, I am... Uh, I am definitely surprised and I'm excited and it is just brilliant. Um, so if you're interested, hopefully this helps you out. If not, hey, just paint the thing <laughs> until next time. See you guys.